Thanks for clicking on another short tips video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this is the second part of a maximizing performance for SolidWorks video. This part will focus on the SolidWorks settings, particularly the ones that you need to change that usually aren't selected in the different SolidWorks versions as a default setting. So let's just comb through those settings. I'm going to go into the Options tab, and really, under the General, we want to make sure that the Feature Freeze bar is enabled. Usually, so check the Feature Freeze bar. We want to also make sure that when Rebuild Errors Occur, Prompt is on. The other thing that's generally checked for SolidWorks, and I sometimes like the thumbnail graphics in Windows Explorer, but it'll speed things up if you uncheck Show Thumbnail Graphics in Windows Explorer. Also, showing the latest news feeds in the task pane does slow SolidWorks down a little bit as well. So going through those particular settings on that first page are the main ones. The second page is under the Drawings. Under Drawings, the Show Content While Dragging Drawing View. That can slow things down as well, and that's checked as a default. So uncheck that. Also, allowing the Auto Update when opening drawings. That will slow things down, particularly on large drawings that automatically puts through the Update Mode on Open when it doesn't have to. So I would uncheck that as well. So that pretty much covers the settings on the second page. Continuing forward, let's go to the display style in here. And on display style, this is something that you're also going to want to check in your templates to make sure your templates aren't overriding this with another setting. And so important for this is the putting it on draft quality down in here. So generally in draft quality for the quality of the edges as well. That's not selected on default and it should be if you want a system to be faster. So draft quality settings right there. Next on the list really comes into the colors area of the menu. We want to use the plain viewport on here. In addition to the view, plain viewport, we want to make sure that the use specified color for drawing paper is checked right here. Disable image and sheet background right there. So make sure those two are checked. Those are the important ones. I also will have the use specified color for shading with edge mode on. Okay, so let's go to the next set of items, which you'll find under the display selection. And under display selection, I think it's best to go ahead and put maintain assembly transparency. And the assembly transparency content. This is a little subject. You might want opaque assemblies in there as well, but basically getting the assembly transparency and context edit and taking the dial up to about that amount. For anti-aliasing, if you want things to go faster, you need to go ahead and change your anti-aliasing to none in there. That will make things go faster. So really that's the main setting on this page that needs to be changed that's usually set wrong with the defaults. Okay, from there continuing on we're going to go into the performance area and with the performance area we can go in and uncheck the verification on rebuild that really slows things down. We can go ahead and uncheck high quality for normal view mode and high quality for dynamic view mode. We can take the level of detail and turn it all the way down to off. 
Now this might make things a little blocky until you zoom in on them or until you need them, but it will really speed things up. So there's lots on this page we can change. Going down the list here, we also have automatically load components lightweight. So we really want to do that. We want to check out of date lightweight components. Don't check, I would rather do indicate in there. And under resolve lightweight components, I want it to prompt me for both of these down there, which is generally default on there. As far as the mate speed animation, I'll turn that all the way down in here. There's a couple more. We look down here at the bottom. We really want no preview during open. That's going to make it a lot faster, and that isn't checked during the default. And that's generally about it right in there. The smart mate sensitivity, you might want to turn that down to none too. If you don't use smart mates, then you can absolutely turn it off. But if you're using smart mates, that's personal preference, and you can turn that up a little bit as well. But off is going to give you the fastest speed in there. Continuing forward, we're going into the assembly settings. With the assembly settings, we can actually move components is generally checked. Prompt before changes, mate alignments on edit. That'll just save you from, you know, having to do it every time when, it, when you can say no there. So save new components and external files. We generally like to do that, so I would recommend that setting anyway. That, that can actually pump things out of the assembly file so it won't be such a large assembly file and it'll speed things up for you as well. So the other things are under the large assemblies. Go ahead and use large assembly mode performance to improve. You might set the part count down to more around 300 before it goes into the large assembly mode, which just makes it go into lightweight. So in addition to this, when large assembly mode is active, do not save auto recover, and that will make things go a lot faster. In addition to that, I think on that page, that's about it. We have under external references, we really want to have the load reference model ask me for prompt. And we want to go ahead and uncheck search locations for external references. That makes the system do things that takes a lot longer. So by default, I uncheck those. Also, the don't prompt to read only reference documents, discard changes, I take that off as well. That slows things down and asks you the same thing too many times. For the assemblies, update component names when documents are replaced. We generally want that checked in here. So that's a default again that's not checked that I like checked. So check that. From there, going into the next page of settings has to do with your feature manager. And with your feature manager, the default settings that I like to change are unchecking use transparent flyout tree. That'll speed some things up. That's the one main setting there. Some of the other stuff is personal preference stuff and it really won't have much to do with the speed on there. So next menu that we need to look at is under the view. Under the view, zoom to fit when changing to standard views. That can make things go extra in time. So you can uncheck that. Along with, you might want to put view rotation in at like 5 degrees rather than 15 degrees. That can be a little option that's more particular to a user, but I like using the keys for that at 5 degrees. And all the transition stuff, for the fastest maximizing performance, you really need to just turn all this stuff to off. And that'll speed things up for you as much fast as your system will be able to go. So next group of settings has to do with the search settings. And what we want to do here is generally make sure that our settings are set to where it's going to index only when the computer is on idle. 
and it's not going to start indexing in the middle of, of work. Most of the other ones are already default in that setting. That is really about it as far as the settings go for maximizing the system performance. So go ahead and give them a shot. You can refer back to this document and you know you can speed it up and slow it down and rewind it to make sure that you get all the settings the same as I have them. Do some system checks and do some timing tests and beforehand and after. I will guarantee you will see this is the maximum performance that you can do for your SOLIDWORKS within Windows and within SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching the Quick Tips video number two on optimizing system performance for SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.